great white shark, and we mean great white shark, more than 3,000 pounds, 16 feet long, is being tracked off the Carolina coast and appears to be heading our way. Ted on your sides, Art Khan is here with a story that's getting international attention. Art sounds a little like the movie Jaws. Yeah, Tom, but this one's real. The shark, known by the researchers that found her as Mary Lee, is, for now at least, well off the coast of North Carolina, having just rounded Cape Hatteras this morning. Mary Lee was captured in September off the coast of Cape Cod. Scientists attached an advanced transmitting device to the shark's dorsal fin and released her back into the ocean. Since then, a satellite has been tracking her movement up and down the East Coast, and people throughout the Southeast are following the shark's movement through an online site known Known as the shark tracker. They are loving on Mary Lee down there. They are following her. They're engaged by her. They're wondering where she's going to go. They're trying to solve the puzzle of her life, just like the PhDs are. We've inspired the explorer and scientist and all the people down there. And I think because they have such a great relationship with the ocean in the southeast. That was Chris Fisher, the founder of OSEARCH, which is the research group that started this historic project. Tonight at 6, you'll hear more from him about what makes this such a significant breakthrough in the history of shark research, and we'll tell you how you can get involved. It's a fascinating story. You won't want to miss it. Art Khan, 10 on your side.